So he died for you that you might live for him. all Bible too there's the verses well here here's my question sure we we, we love the Lord okay. we absolutely love him I'm just I'm curious what the motive is with the sign to put hellfire on it well it's to, to preach the truth mm -hmm. you know uh, Jesus spoke about hell mm -hmm. hell is the reason why you know about hell mm -hmm. is how because of Jesus in the Bible okay so uh, is it ever bad to preach the Bible? No. If it's used for your own self gain, yeah. Okay. So if you're in for the money, I guess is what you're saying. If you're in for the money, or if or you're the in, power. In, to, in for the power, you'd actually use the name of the Lord in vain in that sense. But also in the name of uh, provoking, which is, I don't disagree with what your sign says, to be sorry, but like, when it provoking. says, well, kind of. My question is, I'm sorry, go no, ahead, I'm I was just saying when it says hellfire awaits, like, personally, my relationship, my journey with the Lord uh, took many, many turns. Mm -hmm. And I got to the point where now today, like, I trust him, I love him, I follow him, mm -hmm. no matter what. But I don't follow him out of, out of fear, I follow him out of love. And when he says hellfire, it feels as if you're asking people to follow Jesus because you're scared of him, not because you love him. If, when I hear someone say I don't follow him out of fear, I follow him out of love, mm -hmm. that um, indicates that there's some type of, um, um, that those two things are incompatible, fear and love. When, you know, the Bible really doesn't talk like that. You know, love is not uh, incompatible with fear. Uh, there's actually Bible verses that say that the early apostles, the early followers of Jesus, walked in uh, love and godly fear at the same time so you know those two things are definitely not uh, incompatible you can have sure. both you can you can love god and fear god and as a matter of fact jesus preached he, he when when jesus taught he taught that we need to fear god right. he said do not fear him who can kill the body so, and after that do no more i tell you who to fear right. fear him who after killing can cast the soul right. into hell but what right. should i think come what first? she's focusing on is not because again, we, we both believe in Christianity and we both agree that all of those are sins and it is turning your back from God and everybody's brainwashed and thinking that acceptance is the priority. Toleration. But I think, I'm like, sorry if I'm talking, but ahead, what she's ahead. saying is just like the human aspect of the hellfire is probably pushing the people that are brainwashed away, away. from hearing the, the what you're actually trying to say. Mm -hmm. This, this more yep. My response is, what would Jesus do? You know, uh, WWJD. Um, Jesus uh, preached hellfire. You know, if your hand causes you to sin, he actually coined the term hellfire. If your hand causes you to sin, cut it off. Right. For it's better that one of your hands should perish than your whole body to be thrown into hell. Jesus condemned whole cities. You know, he said, woe to you, Chorazin, woe to you, Bethsaida. If the works that were done in, in you were done in Sodom and Gomorrah, they would stand to this day. You know, so I think the problem here is, uh, if you want my, you know, yeah. earnest we're talking to you. opinion. Because we're uh, fellow believers. Okay. Yeah. I think churches have been teaching people wrong. Yeah. You know, they teach people that this is wrong, you shouldn't talk about hell. You right. should only talk about the smooth things. Right. The culture of, culturally appropriate. Yeah. 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 Right. Well, have you heard of Element Church and it's out in Winsville? I, I, I know you, of it. Right. They're know. kind. They're not afraid of talking they're about. They're very. It. But yeah, I, agree. I would agree with that. With the inability to talk about the uncomfortable mm -hmm. subjects is. Not what Jesus, he wouldn't turn away. He calls you to change, he calls you to transform, and that transformation is definitely uncomfortable. And, uh, you know, in the Old Testament and New Testament, the amount of times that people talk about, the, the people who have itching ears, they want to hear smooth things. You know, Isaiah 30 says, uh, people don't want to hear the truth. They, they say, speak to us smooth things, prophesy lies, right. prophesy deceits. Uh, Jesus says that, uh, you know, uh, woe to you when all men speak well of you. For so 
your fathers did to the false prophet, mm -hmm. to the false prophets. So right. false teachers are the ones that preach the lovey-dovey right. stuff, and you know, yeah. it's it's the ones that 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 preach about hell and warn people that they come against these days, which is sad. Right. You know. And again, I, I agree with you. I I, tr I truly do. That's something I struggle with. It's all these churches, especially the ones that are willing to corrupt the message. Mm -hmm. I mean, I saw another the other day. I mean, it was on TikTok. Mm -hmm. Well, it wasn't. A, it was a while ago. But it was on TikTok, which is a Chinese uh, it app. So it's <laughs> like it's, it's I don't know, whatever. I hear. But. I agree with what you're saying in the sense of like these conversations need to be had in those churches that go away from it and then they are bringing up like Jesus was pansexual or whatever. I don't agree with that. But I think it's just a lot of people, that's all they'll focus on is the hellfire. You know what I mean? And then they won't hear anything beyond that. It'll just be... It almost sounds like Christians hate me anyway, so why would I turn to their God? Right. They already think I'm going to hell, so I turn there. And it's the end. This might be a brainstorm for all of us on how well, we can approach this well, it's conversation. Also, no, it's, like, it's the enemy getting to everyone in every aspect because that's just what he does. He's like these people like little, oh, yeah, little he's good. B, B word. But it's the fear that people have of the fact that like Christians are saying I'm going to hell because of who I am and who I love. All of these things. So why would I follow them? And rally Christians are like, I just want to be. You deserve eternal peace. You deserve heaven. You deserve all these things. I don't know. I, I, I'm just coming from the aspect of like, if I was still struggling with my relationship with God, I would see that and think, oh, they hate me. Mm -hmm. They hate me. So that that's the only reason I came up right. here and asked, like, what 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 like what was your thought process? Behind if this? and that's a great question because because. In order to understand where I'm coming from, mm -hmm. you do need to, there is a, a basis here. Mm -hmm. uh, things that I now understand that I wouldn't understand if I wasn't right. truly born again. Right. I wasn't, you know. Because it is part of the Christian journey is, because I mean, I, I might be generalizing, but my experience was I grew up Catholic and then, you know, the falling out. Mm. I mean, I never stopped believing in it, but I didn't live for it. Mm. And then you kind of go through your life of sin, and then you identify like, oh, all this stuff that the world is telling me is what I should pursue is actually enslaving me and yeah. making my life worse. And then you come back, you realize it. But, I don't know. It's just So what I see, here's what I see. When I look with these eyes, I see people around here that are deceived. Yeah, they are. They think they're okay with God, but they're really on the way to fire. Right. That's their destination if they don't get off the path that they're on. Right. So if someone was in that building and it was on fire, and I didn't tell them, do I really love them? You know, I'm going to say, yeah. no, get right. out of the building. I think you're right for being here. Right, yeah, yeah. yeah. Get out of the building, you know. You guys are very brave for what you're doing. More and it's never really cool. I wonder how more. Christians can't warn. You know, right? The Apostle Paul said, "Him we preach, Jesus, mm -hmm. warning every man and teaching every man that we may present every man perfect in Christ." Paul said this to Timothy. He said, "Preach the word. Be instant, in season, and out of season. Reprove, rebuke, and exhort with all long suffering and doctrine." Rebuke means to tell people that they're doing wrong. Right. Uh, reproving people to, uh, is warning people. So if we're really Christians and we believe that if right. we continue in sin, you're going to end up in hell, and we don't tell people that, is the love of God really in us? Is the, my question. Right. You know? Right. Yeah, I get what you mean. I'm just saying I agree with you. But... sound so it's just like go ahead and be frank with me because yeah yeah I mean it's again I, I, we're all in the, the believe in the same thing I feel like the the brainwashing that the people that don't believe is so powerful because I mean it's everything in culture is telling you mm -hmm. and we were talking about this the other day is they growing up in the world we live in it teaches you that religion is confining 
and then mm-hmm. enslavement because you can't live how you want to live. Yeah. But then if you file it, you realize it's, it's actually freedom. freedom. Yeah. Whereas, and then they tell you that to pursue your own interests and what you want is freeing, and then you do that, and it's like, I, my life is shit now. Mm-hmm. Like, if you, that, that's, I don't know. I, don't know. I, I, I feel like we're, we're I understand a, a what, c- c- cyclical conversation. No, I understand. I, I, I think I understand what you're saying. What you're saying is that people have different ideas well, I'm about just saying things, like with how, and this may not click sorry. with that. Right, right, right. So I, I get that, and and my my job is to uh, get into a conversation with people like right. we're doing now, and dissect that what they're saying, mm-hmm. and seeing if they'll see if they'll be intellectually honest, right, Which, uh, and want to yeah. think about their positions. For for example, uh, you're preaching hate. Okay, Mister So and So, Mrs. So and So, what is hate? What is love? Mm -hmm. You know, if my daughter was doing drugs and I said, stop doing the drugs, is that hate? No. It's love, right? Right. It's tough love. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. So uh, we can can examine, okay, uh, love is wanting the greatest good for someone, right? Mm -hmm. And if I'm warning my daughter about doing drugs, is that love or is that hate? It's love. Okay. And this yeah. is love. So, so we can yeah, have these. But yeah, we, we basically, I, okay, all right. So, from what that <laughs> conversation, I'm going to try one more time. Sure. It's it is all love, but this makes the people it, think that it's not love. And, I and, guess and our, is the my best only reason way I can say why we want to come to you is like because we want more people to come to you and talk to right. you. Right. Which and you like, would know and, better. And I, we don't know. Like you could have plenty of people coming. Like we have no idea. This is the first time we come down here and seen you. Um, so you know better than we do being in this position. But if I were to make a sign like, hey, Jesus loves you, let's talk about it. And it's just more of an approachable thing. But right. like, I, I don't know. Like, I, I don't know. It's a matter of answering the tough questions for sure. people. You know, why is this love? Good over you. What, why? You want to get in on this? <laughs> <laughs> we're just talking. I love hearing that. Yeah. And me too. We do. So, so why, why is it loving that God sends people to hell? You know, that's something that a preacher well, could talk about. Right. Well, I used to struggle you know? with that, but um, I, I started listening to, um, uh, I can't remember what his name is. It's Frank something. He's a... He's Turk. A, Frank Turk. Yeah. Yes. And the, he, the example he gave was, because there are passages in, in the Bible, from my understanding, where it's like, it's hellfire. And then there's also examples where it's it's not, it's just the absence of God's presence. Sure. And his example was um he cuz have you watched any of his videos sure. where he's yeah. talking about like college, college yeah. and he's like he gives the example of women where he's like women have you ever had a guy that's just constantly pursuing you mm. pursuing you pursuing you pursuing you and then and then you know you're not interested mm. and they were all laughing mm-hmm. and he was like what it's basically as God is pursuing you and then the people that are constantly like I don't want you I don't want you I want you that's hell is yeah. when you reach the end he's not going to force his love on right. you it's the choice of people being, choose existing hell. with out right, 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 right. <laughs> right. Yeah. which I, I, I that helped me because I used to always struggle with this so I guess it, you know it's a challenge to when, when you're out doing this or what Frank does or you're an apologist you're, right. you're, you're giving answers to hard questions like how is this love here I almost so fell off <laughs> yeah no, uh, right. <laughs> um, why is this love you, you're an apologist you're, you're, you're giving answers you know, and that's what the Bible says. Be, always be ready to give an answer for the hope that is in you. And, right. and uh, oh uh, you know, we need to understand these concepts, hard concepts like hell and, and judgment. And, and, and I guess there's other realities that I see also is the fact that I used to be deceived. Mm-hmm. I used to believe in Jesus. I was getting drunk. I was doing drugs. I was on my way to hell. And uh, I went to church. No pastor ever told me that I needed to stop my sin. You know, they all would say, no, you just got to be sorry and confess and believe in Jesus, you know, Uh, and ask Jesus to come into your heart and this and that. And, you know, that wasn't the way. You know, I realized that I needed to stop my sin, repent, stop my getting drunk, stop my drugs, stop my adultery, my sexual immorality, stop all of that 
and uh, actually obey Jesus. Right. Uh, and I have to think long and hard. See, if church, if churches preach the right thing, I could just invite someone to church. Right. I wouldn't have to be out here in the 40, 30 degree weather. Right. You know, but churches aren't preaching the right thing. Right. So I need to come out where the people are and, 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 and have them hear it that way. You know, because there's tons of people going into the bars thinking that they're okay, but they've never repented. They're not obeying Jesus. They show me their tattoo of the cross. They show me their necklace. No, you need to obey the Jesus' teachings. Right. You know, and Jesus said, go and sin no more. Not go and sin a little bit less, like the pastor's teaching or the priest is teaching. So... Uh, this is a way to go right to the harvest, right to the field. Is this like an organization? Or? No, it's, um, I want people to follow Jesus, um, period. You know, that's it. That's my goal. I don't want to make disciples of myself. I want people to be disciples of Jesus, period. Have you heard of the same Shimon? Yeah. Oh, I love that dude. Yeah. <laughs> he's 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 combative. Right? Yeah, but and he and he's kind of blown around by a lot of things. Like now, I think he's uh, did he become Catholic or Orthodox recently? Oh, did he really? Yeah, yeah. I think he's 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 either Catholic or Orthodox now. I feel like it's. I don't know. I, I was watching him for a while, but I kind of took a break from him. Yeah. Because I struggle with, I watch these, like the Frank Turek and stuff. Yeah. And it's just like with how um, combative like the atheists are, I kind of get like swept up in it. Yeah. So I kind of took a break from Sam Shimon, but I would assume it's probably Orthodox. I've been seeing yeah. a lot of Orthodox Christianity like yeah. spreading on the internet and stuff, yeah. which is crazy. I've never heard of them until mm. like a year ago. Yeah. And then I guess they had like the oldest. Uh, they say they what they can track their lineage from like the the original apostles or something. The, is that real? Well, the Roman Catholics and the Orthodox were once one church. Oh, really? right. There was something called the Great Schism in 1053, and uh, the East and the Western Church divided at that time. Um, so technically they were one church before that, but right. in all reality, they weren't one church because they were separated by language, uh, even in the fourth century, uh, mm -hmm. half of the church was spoke Latin and half of the church spoke, uh, uh Greek. Yeah. So the Western church spoke Latin, which is where we get our Roman Catholics, right. the which the Protestants come from today. Uh, and the East spoke Greek. The orthodox which is the orthodox the right. eastern orthodox church so they're kind of um so they both claim my point is they both claim to be of the original strain right but i would say okay when did the churches start going astray that's the real question right see the catholics don't believe that you can go astray Catholic believes that they're always the one church. The Orthodox believe that they're always the right. one church. The only reason I, the only reason why I would, I'm, I feel like I'm more swayed toward Orthodoxy is because uh, the Catholic Church has the papal yeah. inf infability yeah. or whatever, yeah. or whatever the Pope says is right. backed by God, and it's like I don't know. Yeah, I don't, yeah. I'm just not with that. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, I, I can't imagine that being real. The uh, the Bible says that. God's going to revive a remnant, you know? He always is talking about a remnant of Israel, a remnant of his people. It's never going to be a massive institution. It's going to be, you know, those who listen and the path is narrow. Right. Yeah. Right. It's not the masses. Um, but, uh, yeah, I like Eastern Orthodox a little, a little bit better, too. There's some stuff that they have in error also. Like, they don't believe in original sin either. Oh, yeah. Uh, and I don't I hold to that. Yeah. Right. I don't hold to Augustine's understanding of original sin. Right. At least, so. Well, I'm, I'm happy you guys are out of here. Amen. I mean, it's because. It's hard. It is hard. It's hard to exist in this world. What's your name? Eddie. Eddie. Nice and to meet my you. Wife, Christy. Yeah, hi, Christy. Eddie. Yeah. Nice, nice to meet you. Josiah. Josiah. Nice to meet you.
but but I do agree that there's wrong ways that you can preach. I believe that you know, going out and calling people homos and stuff like that, and or whatever else, is not really the way you want to do it. If you want people to listen to your message, um, I like the intellectual right the methods of thinking sure. it the phil- right. or the philosophy because it's of almost it. like this stirs up the feeling come up and talk to you and like amen right yeah. yeah yeah if you don't if, if you you're angry and defensive that other person that's hearing you is going to get angry and defensive right uh but if you're you know if you're if you start to get intellectual or 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 talk even talk about you know some of the deeper subjects they'll want to talk about the deeper subjects sure. so. right. and, and you're, you're starting conversations like we walked past you guys and I looked I'm in marketing and I do design and I'm like oh, I can make a better sound. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> it's provoking yeah. though, right? Yeah. It's it pro- is, it got me thinking. Yeah. 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 yeah it, it and if you don't like that, those flames. To, to how about these flames? Oh there you go. Uh, yeah. Thank you. Hey, hey, hey. I like that one better. Mm-hmm. I do like that one better. What's the, the biggest is- word on that? If. if. Yeah. So there's a message of hope there. Right. You know? Yeah. It's a condition. It is hard. I mean, I, I feel like people... I don't even understand how people got the understanding of Jesus Christ or Christianity being violent or hateful. I mean, yeah. cause right. the only example they have ever to point to is the Crusades, which is, was how long ago? Yeah. And then no, they it's talk about, like... That wasn't Jesus. Yeah, people it's always like human, human. Augustine, yeah, right. to be... More exact. Augustine again, just war theory. Yep. Oh, I don't know. Yeah, it's that's what they call it. They call it just war. You know, the fact Holy that, wars. yeah, the Holy fact wars. that they say Christians can go to war if it's for a just cause. Oh right. Uh, okay. So yeah, we don't hold to that. Um, right. Pacifism is you know the Christian doctrine right. that they held in the beginning. Holy shit! Is that a hard man? Yeah. <laughs> It, it leads is. to death, you know, it leads right, right. To, go, to the cross. So I thought the uh, pray for your, uh, pray for your enemies or whatever. Yeah. Pray, the one, pray for the ones who curse you. Non-resistance and pacifism. Yeah. Yeah. You, have you seen um, The Chosen? I watched a couple of episodes and then I, yeah. He didn't like it? Not I, a big deal if you didn't. I didn't stick with it just because of how much they invented. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah, I think so. yeah. It had to expand the storyline. Yeah. Right. I just liked uh, what uh, hooked me on it is uh, their portrayal of Jesus and mm. how, like, human he was. Because when I was a kid, I, just, I didn't I, Again, I never stopped believing. Mm. I always had this image in my head of Jesus being kind of, like, so godly that he was alien. You know what I mean? Where you couldn't relate to him. Mm-hmm. That show did a really... Yeah. Because really, the, the miracle where he does the water and the wine, did you get to that one? Um, I don't yeah, that, remember. That was it was like uh, it was a couple uh, years ago. But so. it was funny because there was a uh, what was it? Andrew. It was Andrew was well, the Simon, bad dancer. Simon, Simon Peter was. Yeah. So, and his brother well, Andrew. Yeah, yeah, Andrew was the bad dancer, mm-hmm. and uh, Jesus what did they just say? Him, they were like, was... Jesus, what can you do to help his dancing? He's like, son. Even thing, there are some things even I can't like, do. <laughs> it was just, it was fun because of yeah. him. Mm-hmm. Oh, you should check. Fine. Give it, a, give it another whirl, man. <laughs> yeah, maybe I will. Maybe I will. Let me encourage you one more thing. The words, uh, we need to obey. I guess the Bible with our words. Mm-hmm. And one verse in Ephesians four it says, "Let no profane word come out of your mouth, but that which is edifying, that it may impart grace to the hearers." So the next time you want to say the F word or the S word, I would, you know, stop yourself. Yeah, I'm, tr- I'm trying to not to eliminate that. Yeah, Holy amen. Cow. I'd like to encourage you to do that. Oh, yeah, I'm, I, it's, it's, it's a battle. It's for sure a battle. Mm-hmm. And she gives me crap about it. Because for a little bit I was doing good, but it's, I wasn't, well, I was, I was doing okay. Because instead of eliminating it, I was just subbing it in for like, instead of saying the F word, I was saying like fudge. You guys got kids yet? No. Got that, four cats. We're trying. That's going to, yeah, yeah if you do have kids, that's going to clear that up real yeah. quick, probably. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Well, thank you so much. Good nice talking yeah. to you. Good yeah. Good yeah. yeah. Thank you, guys. God All right. God bless. Lo, another sign in heaven, great and marvelous, the sight of our God preparing for that final day. Seven angels. 
angels at attention given seven vials of light full of wrath and said the lord now go your way 